I ain't got a microphone, so I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can. The cannon you see in front of you here is actually known as a mountain howitzer. They were made so they could be disconnected and hauled on three pack mules. So that's why the soldiers liked them so much. They were brought here during the 1800s for the Seminole Indian Wars from France. They were designed by Napoleon. They could shoot up to about 900 yards. They usually used three types of projectiles. I had a little board here that shows the certain ones. They shot a regular cannonball. Then they shot one which was called a spherical case, which had a fuse in it, which was like a hand grenade. You could set the fuse to go off so many yards downfield. Then the most devastating shot was what they'd call a canister, which didn't have a hundred mini balls in it, would turn this gun into a giant shotgun. I'll try to explain to you the way we'd go about loading this gun. My position would have been number one on the gun. After this gun was fired, I would tell number three here to tend to vent. What you do is where this is where you would poke a hole in the bag of gunpowder. She checks to make sure that's clear. And number one, I have what looks like a corkscrew. This would be called search the bore because back then they used burlap sacks for the gunpowder. You wanted to make sure that there wasn't any leftover burning embers in there before you put another load in there. So I would search it with this. Then number two, his is a wet sponge. He goes down with the wet sponge to make sure that there's nothing left in there burning. Then I go back in with this dry sponge. Then after that's done, the piece is ready to be fired. And a good crew can actually get off about three shots in a minute with these guns under fire. Five seconds. So if y'all will just hang on for one minute, I'll go ahead and we'll load by what we call load by detail. So. Load by detail. Ten to vent. Search the floor. Wet sponge. Dry sponge. Fence around. As I say load, that means he's putting the charge into the cannon. And when I say prick and prime, that's where she's poking a hole in the gunpowder, then putting on the primer cap to ignite the fire. Prick and prime! Powder. Cannoneers, come to the ready! Fire in the hole! On my command, fire! <laughs> that concludes our cannon demonstration. We'll be coming right in around here and doing a little program right here. So if you want to or, uh, sit back a little bit on the grass, it's absolutely fine.
All right, how's everybody doing today? Good, good to see everybody out here. That song right there was uh, was uh, composed uh, by a uh, Comanche Kiowa man, and uh, he's talking about Iraqi veterans uh, a while ago, and, he, and it's basically saying uh, honoring those veterans that fought in that war from presence and, uh, and now, from back then and now. And uh, that's how we like to start our program, is uh, honoring our veterans. So let's give our veterans a round of applause. <laughs> and our purpose here today is to show you the different styles, the different cultures of Native Americans throughout North America. And uh, 